Sorry, I had to run. <clears throat> I was going to wait on you. I knew Thank you. you. I knew you wouldn't leave early. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. I'm here for the duration. Um, hello, my name is Jill Hines. I'm co-director of Health Freedom Louisiana. Um, we are a consumer and human rights advocacy organization. And Chairman Bagley, Vice Chairman Turner, thank you for calling this oversight hearing. For the last 17 months, the citizens of Louisiana have been at the mercy of the unelected state employees who work for the Louisiana Department of Health and who advise Governor Edwards. This state agency has effectively removed parental rights in regards to medical decisions, and education is being held hostage for those who do not comply. They have determined that millions of children across the state must undergo the same medical intervention without providing informed consent, which violates federal law and the most basic medical ethics and human rights. As a reminder, the chaos the governor's most recent mass mandate has generated might have been avoided had this committee recognized the necessity of protecting the most basic human rights, the right to determine what is done to our own bodies and those of our children. You had the opportunity to pass a bodily autonomy bill in May, but if you'll remember, you stated it was not necessary. Representative Stagney stated it was a solution in search of a problem. Representatives Bagley, Adams, Cox, Hughes, Johnson, Larvidane, Miller, Presley, and Stagney voted to involuntarily defer it. Last October, I sat before this committee and asked two things of you. That you prevent a COVID-19 vaccine mandate for employees by creating exemptions similar to those available for school attendance. That you, and, number two, that you provide informed consent to parents and students regarding vaccine exemptions with any communication regarding vaccination requirements. At that time, there were comments from the committee members that we were putting the cart before the horse and that we were offering solutions in search of a problem. You had the opportunity to pass a bill that would have made it a law for colleges and universities to provide exemption information about vaccines, including the COVID vaccines. But Rep Representatives Turner, Cox, Hughes, Johnson, Miller, Moore, Owens, Presley, and Selders voted against it. You had the opportunity to pass a bill that would have prevented a COVID vaccine mandate by providing exemptions to employees. But Representatives Turner, Cox, Eccles, Hughes, Johnson, McMahon, Miller, Moore, Owens, Presley, and Selders voted against it. You said there would be no mandates, but mandates are here and have been here for over a year now. While I appreciate this committee for convening for this much needed hearing, I would ask that you take the opportunity when next it's available to protect the rights of the people you serve. The Louisiana Department of Health does not and should not have the authority to determine what I put on or in my person or that of my children. And right now they do, and that needs to change. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate hearing what I voted for and this <laughs> Well, I didn't, I, didn't get to, I didn't get my name called many times, so I guess we're, we've, we've always been friendly anyway. Yeah. Well, I, my, my stance on all that has been pretty clear uh, anyway, and I've written letters and called about the uh, mandating the vaccines and yes and, and we have, appreciate that greatly uh, representative bagley uh, the point being though is that you wouldn't have had to do that if you guys had passed the bills well there's no reason to argue with you about right, that but right, right. that yeah. was because it's already in law and right now they're they're while they're I trying they're still trying they can't do it until they okay it and you well, know the even point the, i want to make though is the mask the mask yeah. is a medical medical intervention under EUA, as I've mentioned so many times in front of this committee, and part of the, the, um, the, the federal law governing EUAs is that parents are informed, that's an, an experimental medical intervention, that they're, they're given the right to refuse, that they're given the, the, the risk involved. We don't know the risk because there's been no safety studies involved in it. And that there should be an adequate reporting system similar to the VAERS system for vaccines, and that's not been done. 
the state has violated parents' rights and children's rights by, by removing informed consent about this medical intervention. Well, that's one of the reasons for this meeting, to get people to come up and say what they say and, and tell what they believe. And I've tried to keep this as orderly as possible because you need to say what you say just like the ones on the other side need to say what they say. And I do appreciate you. You know that. Thank you. Thank you for coming again. Thank you so much, yes, Representative Bagley. Oh, hold up. You have a question. Rep a comment. Comment, Representative Turner. Hey, so my comment is you made it sound like the people that voted for the bills were for mandating. I'm not for mandating masks. I'm not for mandating vaccines. And that's why we have the 17-17. You have those exemptions on whether you want to take the, the shot or not. So uh, you come in here and saying that, I guess, is not when we have a yes or no to make, doesn't give all the details of what we think and what we're thinking or what we're trying to do. And it's not in my place to tell a business what to do, what not to do. And that's what one of those bills uh, referred to. So just know that there's a lot of us that do believe in the vaccine, but I don't want to push it on anybody. And that's, that's, right. that's, and that's, that, that was not a question. Uh, that, there was not a question. That was just my comment, yes, from uh, the way you presented that information about the way we voted and what we did. I, I in no way, and I don't think there's very many people on this committee that want to mandate that anybody in this room does anything. Thank you. Thank you. May Thank I reply you. in response Thank to that? Thank you. Never asked no. that question, ma'am. No? Okay.